Talent is something plenty of YouTubers have. It's kind of a word in my mind that I can't stand, mostly because I don't have it. I was watching a video by Scott Kramer about American Idol earlier, which had me thinking about it again. After tearing a huge one in the show, Scott does a little skit where he pretends he's doing an audition for the show. The dude literally sings a whole ass song. I'm absolutely mesmerized because I wasn't even expecting it. So I'm just bopping to the song, all happy and stuff, and next thing you know, I'm slowing down and thinking about it again. I don't have talent. The reason I have 100k subs isn't because I can sing, or draw, or that I'm a pro Smash player, right? It's because I got lucky with the algorithm when it was never my intention. But of course, like any other person would, I did my best to please the audience. Anyone can please a crowd, though. Most people do that with a talent. I did it with the intention of keeping people happy while I figured out exactly what I wanted to do when everything was going down. What's incredibly difficult when people consider what is talent and what isn't is that people tend to expect the top 10% of a certain skill to be talented while the bottom 90% aren't. So I end up applying those standards to myself. So I look and see that I have no talent whatsoever. I play Smash, so do literally tons of other YouTubers who can do it much better and be entertaining while doing it. I can talk to people, but so have many, many other people, and they have huge audiences that they talk to. People stick around to hear what they have to say because they can entertain people. It's something I can't do, apparently. The huge problem is, now those same standards I have for myself are leaking into every aspect of my life. I end up singing along with a song and I find myself critiquing my every note simply because it's not good enough. I hate that I have all of these subs and I have no talent. I started feeling that during the Yoshi Screaming stream. I was recommended by friend and fellow content creator Valer, um, their cover of Everything Stays by Rebecca Sugar. She had like, what, 400 subs then? I wanted people to see her because I felt like our places should have been switched. I was doing a silly, stupid livestream and she was pouring her heart into what she was doing. So I had offered a bonus Yoshi on the livestream if people got her to 1k subs. And those people are still on her channel to this day, while I lose subs by the thousands. That's because she has talent. She can sing. She's a musician. She has plenty of things I don't and I still root for her because I feel like my lifespan for this channel is fucked. And she still has plenty of years of people finding her channel to go. I don't know how many times I've contemplated just wiping the channel clean and never coming back. Because I just don't have the talent to keep up with my favorite YouTubers. Yet, I'm still here. I have people who still fuck with me to this day about Yoshi screaming. I still have people who resent me and hate me because I supposedly milked a meme dry. I still have people trying to cause problems in my life because they just don't like me. What's the hassle worth? It's those 500 people who still watch my stuff. They're important to me and they support what I do. Those 500 people are really important, and I don't care if the channel drops down to just those 500 people. I still have those people supporting my every action, caring about what I have to say, and making sure I'm alright if something seems off. I may not have talent, but I have people who still stick around, because just like me, 
they're waiting to see a video take off again and see the whole channel just spark back to life. So 500 people, including my friends, my fellow content creators, that random person who saw me on the live stream and decided to watch every single video I put out. Thank you. You're keeping me going. I'm just struggling because I want to do something that lots of people will see and I'm just not catching up. I just hope that something will bring me back into things somewhere, some way.